We have the next series on the channel. <laughs> so we decided to start building the vivarium today. We leave the house and Paladarium. Like... Paladarium. Oh, is that what it's called? Yeah. Oh. It refers to the type of thing. We have uh, like multiple things living in there. Water, land. Uh, but it's like in a vivarium. It's a paladarium, but yeah. It, it's a thing. It's a thing. But anyways, it is downpouring horribly. And we finally made it to Walmart. We're starting at Walmart because it's the cheapest option. So, we'll, uh, we'll see how this goes. It's going to be a really weird series and how we chop things up, but uh, Porch Paradise is over for now. There might be like a recap at some point, but um, this is it. Here we, here we go! <laughs> here we go. Hour and a half of shopping and uh, stop at Subway. And we are halfway there. We're, we're not sure if this will work, but... We got most of the stuff we were looking for. We're only looking for like three or four things specifically to on to the closest pet store possible. All right, so we hit a Walmart, we hit a PetSmart, and I think we have everything we need. <laughs> uh, so we're just gonna kind of go through it real quick and show you. These are gonna be really short episodes, like we're filming at least three today. It's because all the plants have to be planted, you'll see. Uh, and we have to make sure the water in the little aquarium is going to be set. We're going to a reptile show on the 14th, it's currently the 5th or 6th. So, yeah, everything has to be set up and ready for that. So, we got a whole bunch of stuff and we're going to show you what everything looks like and give you a general idea about how we might be setting it up. Mm -hmm. But first... Conclusion to Forge Paradise. We needed something to help keep the bugs out. You know, it's gonna let the fresh air in. And this was just what seemed like a really good solution. Yeah, we walk in and out a lot. Um, and I think that'll help. Uh, as well as this bug zapper. You guys know about the bug zapper? Oh, yeah. It we, runs like 24-7 now. Yeah, and it's, it's always going on. Just uh, fruit flies. Anyway. <laughs> it's gonna be the water part of this aquarium. So this will be the fish tank within the enclosure. We, uh, we have an idea of the reptile and the fish we want. Yes. So, uh, fish that will comfortably be in here. Yeah, uh, nothing big, like ghost, shrimp, uh, yeah. little like, cleaner fish, pretty much. Yeah, and maybe something like a molly or a guppy. Gold, not a goldfish, but. They die too fast. You're gonna have to pull it out. A little hide in place for our little fish, just a little mm -hmm. flower pot. Uh, and this is, it's supposed to be a feeding dish, but we're going to bury it in... I forget what we're doing with it. Water dish. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just like a clean water dish. It might be unnecessary, but I'd rather be prepared. Uh, and then we wanted a more natural feel for the rock, so we went with these. Slightly um, more natural, yeah. but still flashy. There's, these two packs are slightly different. The beads of this one are a little smaller, but they're the same color. And then we got just regular aqua rocks, and we're gonna have more rocks, but we're gonna collect them. So hopefully that'll be something fun that you guys see a small part of too. Yeah. Well, the next video in this will be assembling the plants and the dirt, uh, and then the next one will be the aquarium, which is why we're filming it all today because we don't have a choice. Oh yes. This is gonna be the hood. Uh, with the light, and we have a flora, 18 inch light. It's good for plants, it also puts off some heat, so the reptiles are going to like that. Uh, we got this guy, it's a little fuzzy. It is a low light, so it should be perfect in this. I'm trying to see what it's called. It's a superba. Or a superba? It's spelled like super and then ba. Superba. Superba. Okay, that's what I said the first time, but yeah. I felt like I was wrong. No, it's a perfect 100 watt bulb and a clamp lamp. It's going to go on the outside, so probably like over here on the outside pointed in. Uh, what everyone needs is a thermometer. Make sure all of our critters are at the right temperature, not too hot, not too cold. So in the time in the car, this totally caught some bugs and splattered them. Venus flytrap. I love these things. I feel like, yeah, they can't see that from there. Uh, 
Uh, because of the fruit flies and everything that's kind of wandering around in the berry, it should be something that helps a lot and hopefully it can critter that we end up getting share all the bugs together and it's not that bad. This is going to be an observation, like burrow. So I'm going to have it, this is hollow here, so they can go in and we'll put some moss or whatever in there and one of these sides will be up against the glass and it'll be buried. So we'll be able to watch them right through there or the other side wherever we decide to put it and they'll be able to crawl in and out. Obviously it's going to be boosted up just a little higher and buried with some dirt and rocks but we want it to allow a lot of room for creativity and also just versatility because we don't get the exact animal we want we're going to get something else, so... Yeah, we want to make sure, no matter how it ends up, it is a happy habitat. Uh, and this one is also low light. I think we tried to get them all. It is a very illusion arrowweed plant. That is its uh, Americanized name. It's from South Africa, and I'm not going to try to pronounce the other variation of the name. I really like it. The texture of the leaves is almost waxy. Uh, and it's in pretty good health. All these plants were on clearance at the end of summer, so they're like just letting all the plants die everywhere, so. You can tell the healthy ones from the ones that are a little matte. It has a little pink in it and looks really pretty. Yeah. And this is our filter. Yes, this filter is way, way, way too big for this tiny little thing, but I'm hoping to create a really cool waterfall effect with it. We wanted like a little river, but for a 10 gallon, and we're limited to under five gallons of water because we rent this apartment. So, I'm still thinking we can do something cool with it. It's just going to be, uh, we'll just have to be careful. Uh, yeah. It'll be interesting to see what happens with this, but that's a separate episode. But, and these are called, uh, like this, I should have done the intro, like, welcome to Powderanium Powderadium Powderadium Pals. That's a mouthful. Uh, it's just Powderadium. I don't know how to say it. Powderadium Powderadium. Uh, either way, it means there's a bunch of different things living together, plants, aquatic, land, sometimes both semi-aquatic like semi stuff. Nice. Uh, so we'll have episodes where we introduce the fish, the reptile, there are going to be some form of bugs in there, isopods, pill bugs, uh, maybe earthworms, we'll see. Yeah, what we can find then. Oh, it broke. It literally broke on the wall. Oh. Like I said, they're all in clearance. Yeah, it, the side of this one's a little sad. And hopefully it makes it come back. It'll become one with the dirt. Yeah, it's okay. What's it called? Just a succulent of some kind. Um, it's Chivera Hybrid. Sounds right to me. Oh yeah, we could get more. Forgot about those tips. Just a bridge. Um, it might turn into a waterfall thing. I'm realizing now it's way too big for this aquarium. Uh, we might go to. We're bridge. still. We'll still use it. It'll just be. Uh, it'll just be different. It's probably gonna go something like this. So the fish can kind of hide under it, but then the lizard can go over it. Uh, this is an Anubis, Anubias? Anubis sounds right. Anubis Nana. It's fly aquatic. Doesn't really say much about it. It's just like a tiny little thing. This is a very simple coconut fiber background for climbing. Um, so we're probably just going to run it along the entire back just so they have places to climb. And this is a Bacopa live aquatic plant. I swear you just had to say these to say it all wrong. <laughs> there you go. She got it for a close shot. Oh, there you go. Well, and then we got moss. Just, it says it's, it says it's all natural, I think, but. Yeah, they probably just like freeze dried it or something. Yeah. I don't know, it says it reduces odor, uh, aids in the shedding of reptiles, helps keep amphibians hydrated. We're just going to put it in there, um, in the little thing here, and then we're going to get some rocks and build up. If that was the plan, but looking at this, it's super small, so we'll see. I'm not really sure at this point. Right? We'll right. figure it out. Which is also going to be used for a porch paradise, but kind of. It's for this and to like top off some stuff we got going on out there. If anything too important happens, there'll probably be a recap episode, Porch Paradise, maybe, like, yeah. addition shot, so. Just like a, a promo. Yeah. Epilogue. Epilogue. Yeah. Um, so I think that's it. And then we got Fuzzy's cage, which we'll be doing something with once he, uh, he's out of his cocoon. Yeah. Maybe so, we'll a little frog or something for in there. Yeah. yeah frogs, <laughs> you can get them pretty cheap. 
So, and they're easy to take care of. We have the, their, their, their food flying around us right as, we, right as I speak. There's one in on your head. It's been a nightmare. We have like 30 traps. I, I shit you not. I mean. <laughs> anyway, thanks for turn, tuning in to Powder Rit. I'll learn how to say it by the end of the series. <laughs> uh, and we will see you next time. Hopefully you guys enjoy the process of this. We're not changing clothes because we're filming half the series today. <laughs>